My father always told me the future was in my hands. But for the longest time, I never understood it. He would cite it to me first thing before walking out the door to work every morning. Bright-eyed, enthusiastic, and full of energy. He would remind me every night he returned from work, spent, frustrated, and unappreciated but never void of hope, never giving up, and always believing. As I got older, I wondered how a man facing such hardship can be so optimistic. I watched how life and society chipped pieces out of this sweet man every day. I witnessed him swallow bile for the sake of peace and family. My father was hardworking and disciplined. But for some reason, it wasn't enough to spare him from being exploited. How he managed to keep a bright mood, regardless of everything, will continue to elude me. And in the midst of all those difficulties, he never forgot his favorite mantra for me. At some point, I got cynical about his claims. How can the future be in my hands when everything around me has the power to change it? How can the future rest only with you, yet others around you are taking any step to influence theirs? And many times their actions affect your life. And as he got old and frail and unable to work anymore, my bitterness intensified. Yet I couldn't be angry at him and I couldn't be angry at the world. I couldn't understand how a man could be so hopeful about a society that has let him down on so many levels. And I couldn't keep believing I had any say in how my future turns out under such a reality. But my father wouldn't let me fall into that spiral of hatred and negativity. Heaven be damned, his daughter becomes a pessimist. To me, it was a mantra he wanted me to live by. To him, it was a declaration he wanted me to hold tight. And that was exactly what he did. Until his last day on earth. Fighting for hope.
It's been many years since my father first uttered those words. Many years since I first heard those words the young people now come to hate and ignore. And I wish they had known someone like my father. Because of him, I've been able to decipher the truth in those words. Yes! Yes! It's time for go, don't come! They don't come! Oh. Say no to vote by him! Say no to vote by him! It is your future! Your future is in your hands! Say no to vote by him! Vote the right get the enter! Nigeria number No vote for your mama! No let them buy your vote with money! No, so go buy it. Yes, yes, yes. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Don't choose my people. One who saw that control lies not in what surrounds you, but in what you allow. And by citing the errors of his life, he was bent on not letting me make the same mistakes. <laughs> 